Chicago Land Speedway is the next stop on the Catch GDX Cup Series Tour. Stop number 27 in this series. As the series is down to the nitty gritty and four points. Yeah. Separate the t top two drivers in this series. Boy. Final 10 races ought to be a doozy, if you know what I mean. So, with that said, let's get the starting line for today's event here. Chicago on the pole at 207 miles an hour. It's Matt McIntyre, the number 18 Interstate Battery Chevrolet. He is down, way down to stadiums, as a matter of fact. So, at two is his outside pole sitter, Charles Sanford, the number 24 DuPont NASCAR 2000 Chevrolet. Row two is Gene Sanford, the 94 McDonald's Ford. He'll be, she'll be alongside Kyle Matthews, the winner at Rockingham. The 42 Melly Yellow Chevrolet. Pichu London, number 22, the Maxwell House Ford. He'll start inside of row number three. And beside him, Zed Weinstein, number 70, Rumpel Furniture Toyota. <clears throat> then it's Jesse Henry, the number 70, Western Auto Chevrolet. He'll be number 17, Western Auto Chevrolet for Daryl Walter R Racing. Beside him, Tony Green, the number four, Kodak Film Chevrolet. The Daytona 500 champ starts alongside. Nick Pericles, 83 wins Kmart Chevrolet, has the inside runner number five, or number five, the winner at Kentucky this season, and John Arn, the 21 sit go forward, and here, forward, and here comes the command to fire the engines, here at the, here for the National Guard, 400 head Chicago. <clears throat> Drivers, start your engines. Command's been given the fire the engines. Excuse me. Take a swig of Mountain Dew here. As we get some racing here today, 27 laps of this here today. And where are the championship leaders starting here today? Let's see right here. Well, Jessica Sheldon there is the championship leader. Jessica Sheldon, she starts back in the pack, and so too is Zach Flickinger, the pole sitter, or the the um Second place driver in the points, so both of them starting back in the pack for this race in Chicago. Hopefully, and for both of them, they hope to gain as many points positions as they can. But as they come to the start finish line, green flag waves, and let's go racing here in Chicago. Matt McIntyre jumps out in front of Charles Sammer and the Sam and the Samper siblings. Charles and Gene. Battle for second position right now, 94 and 24, Ford and Chevrolet, and here comes Gene Sanford. She's been second quite a few times this season, but still yet to get that first win. But Matt McIntyre pulls ahead of Gene Sanford, and he'll lead the first lap of the race. First lap, 180.39, one miles an hour, going super fast here at Chicago. A pair of yellow cars, Trey Campbell and Jonathan Zorlin going at it. Dougie Shears is up there. Charles Sanford, Matt, er, Kyle Matthews. Nick Pericles leading that pack as he goes inside of Pichu London for position. But Matt McIntyre looking strong here in his early in the early lap. So, and by the way, Matt is if you're, some of you who are wondering, Matt is no relation to Levi. So, I don't know why I keep emphasizing that, but still. And boy, Matt McIntyre and the seven as boy the field going way up to the air and speed wise. See how fast they go on the on these. <clears throat> Down the end of the in turn three and going into turn number one, McIntyre was 209 miles an hour going off into turn number three. Out to number four to 195 miles an hour. Out into turn number one he goes 209, 210, 11, 12, 212 miles an hour into turn number one. And McIntyre going to turn number three at 209 again. And off into turn number four, 195 again. And into turn number one he goes. 211. Oh, I saw 213 blink going into turn number one. And we saw how McIntyre goes into turn number one and three. Let's see how Gene Sammer does in the draft. 
as she gets a draft off Matt McIntyre trying to bow for the lead. She's about the same as McIntyre almost, speed wise. And 213 miles an hour for Gene Sanford going on turn number one. Jesse Henry wins third position, fourth position is now P2 London. Nick Pericles in fifth, sixth, Trey Campbell, seventh, Jonathan Zorlin, eighth is Dougie Shears, ninth, Charles Sanford, tenth is Marty Johnson, eleventh, Austin Mongold in the fourteenth, having a good run here today. Zed Weinstein in twelfth, thirteenth, Kyle Matthews, fourteenth is Kyle Austin in the eighty-eight. Sky Commons in 15th, 16th, Stephanie Gardner in the 26th says she's having a good run here today. Seth Cole in, in 17th, his buddy Trent Dunham in 18th. And meantime, Joshua Collard diving underneath John Arndt and battle for the 19th spot. And Collard slides up just in front of Jessica Shelton. And now she uh, now she's about to lose a spot to Cody Lamas. Lamas running in 21st, I believe. And now that's a battle for the 21st spot. Shelton dropping the 22nd. Trying to get back on the inside lane, and that's what they did. So Shelton running 22nd, where's Flickinger at right now? Flickinger, oh, tell me he's not last place. He is last place. Zach Flickinger, I think some of Shelton's rotten luck from the last couple of races has kind of rubbed off on Flickinger suddenly. Right now it's been Matt McIntyre all the way here at Chicago so far after 11 laps. And still 16 laps to go. Gene Sanford, she's been close to those second place finishes. She's trying to get that win. But getting it is another, but you know, trying to Cat, as we said sometimes on some tracks, tra catching one thing past them is a whole other story. They can go high, they can go low, they can drop back, they can move up. Sometimes nothing works. Number 17, Jesse Henry. Still third, and in fact, the top 10 cars are still status quo. In fact, all the cars are single file racing at the moment right now, so it's at first side by side. But all we had is Mason Powers trying to go back by Nathan Hudson for 37th. So basically, we're side by side racing here at Chicago is what we're seeing here today. It's getting to where it's looking like you need a drafting partner to try to get your try to get yourself in position. As Jesse Henry now tries to do so on and tries to get past um, Gene Sanford. And here comes Jesse Henry to the inside for that second spot there on Gene Sanford to come down through the third and fourth turns now. And Henry will get that draft off the 22 of Pichu London. But Pichu decides to help just uh, Sheen Sanford, and Sanford goes back to second. A little scary moment there for that 94 car as Jesse Henry saying, Doggone, I almost had her here. But he ain't giving up yet. But all that did was let Matt McIntyre just pull ahead.
little crank it up segment for you right here. Matt McIntyre continues to lead and let's check out let's check in. See everybody's at right now. Some cars, I think they need this your mile and a half steps on for this track. Lap speeds here of over 200 miles an hour. Not uncommon here in this race here, at least here in the NR 2003 series or but. Very, very fast racing here, and lap speeds clicking off as fast as 204 miles an hour, a little earlier in the race here, but now about 201, 202 is about the, about the common pace right now. But Jean Sanford, she's still trying to get past Matt McIntyre. She's hoping for a little help from Jesse Henry in the 17, but Jesse wins that second spot badly from Jean Sanford as they come out of turn number four. But like I said, all that's let all that all those side by side racing is good and all well and good, but that's let but that lets the leader just pull away from the field. And just slows you down if you go side by side. Coming down for seven, coming down for six laps to go here in Chicago. This race has been very, very fast paced. And it's been all Matt McIntyre all the time here today. But Gene Sanford, 94, still trying to close a little bit. She was faster the last time by than was McIntyre, but sometimes, some drivers, sometimes one lap they'll be faster than the leader, and so another lap they'll be off pace a little bit from the leader, but it's, 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 it's as if the second place car is a little inconsistent. You have a quick check on how the rest of the field's running right now. Top 10 still status quo a little bit. Jessica Shelton still running 22nd, the championship leader. So it looks to me like the way things are going, if Flickinger keeps running last place, so Shelton Gank gets her points back that she lost a little bit for the last two races. Trevor Reinhardt having a battle with Mike Becker for the for position, along with Dylan Young in the two. Right now, Matt McIntyre trying to hold them all off as they come down for two laps to go. Matt McIntyre, the Interstate Battery Chevrolet number 18, laying him down two laps to go here in the National Guard 400. Matt trying to go wire to wire. He was the pole setter for the event at 207 miles an hour. Gene Samber hoping for one little slip out of Matt McIntyre, and if that happens, then she's by him. But doesn't look like it may be happening right now. A white flag for Matt McIntyre. One lap remaining here to the racer today. In the third turn, they come. They come here. Nobody's had anything for the 18 car all day long. Out of turn number four, Matt McIntyre will take the victory here in Chicago. Matt McIntyre wins the National Guard 400. Gene Samper, another heartbreaking second place finish. Third will go to Jesse Henry. Fourth to Pete Lennon. Fifth to Nick Pericles. Just side, just single file the whole race here, just about almost in Chicago. But gave you the top five already here. Average speed 201, 552. 
Jonathan Zorlin comes home 6th, 7th, does Dougie Shears 8th, Charles Sammer 9th, Marty Johnson 10th, Austin Mongold, then Trey Campbell, Zed Weinstein, Matt, Kyle Matthews, Kyle Austin, Sky Commons was 15th, and 16th was Stephanie Gardner, Seth Cole, Trent Dunham, John Art, and Joshua Collar, the top 20. And on down to Trevor Reinhardt in 28th, Jessica Shelton 23rd, or 22nd. Jessica Shelton 22nd here today. And Zach Flickinger last place. He did not need that. And apparently something was wrong with the car here in the last of the race, too, because he fell way off. Something was ha something went wrong with the car, apparently. But Matt McIntyre takes home the victory here today at Chicagoland. The Amherst State Batteries number 18 for Joe Gibbs Racing. Takes it all here today. And Shelton opens up a little breathing room now on flicking turn the points. 55 points now separate first to first to second. And Pichu London now closes in a little bit on in third spot. Fourth right now, William Duncan. Fifth, Cody Lama. Sixth, Kyle Matthews. Seventh, Dougie Shears. Mike Becker in eighth place right now in the points. Ninth, Gene Sanford still having a solid run in the points. And Dylan Poteet now knocks Johnny Gardner out of the top ten. And Poteet now is in tenth position. Gardner 11th. Daniel Voiles 12th. 13th, Ryan Richards 14th. Keith Batson 15th. Seth Cole. Quentin Moore 16th. 17th, Mason Powers 18th. Is Marty Johnson 19th, Austin Mongold, and Jesse Dalton currently holds the 20th position. With now nine races remaining on the season. In the points. Whew. And a little further back down here. And there's the rest of the points as they are right now. John Arn currently holding the basement right now. Nathan Hudson way down in the points, 38th. Uh, not a good season for, season for he and Starla. As they are right now, as it is right now. Dover's next up on the tour for the running of the Tax Slayer 400. Don't miss it.